Okay, so Nomad, you're asking how I made JD walk around the other day, so I figured I would just quickly make a video for you. So I want you to come over here, and I'm going to show you the, uh, the project I have set up for JD right now. And you can see I got the camera on, I got the soundboard with some music. I also have the RGB animator, which not a lot of you have seen yet. So for example, I can edit here the, uh, the RGB LEDs, I can add a new action, and I can call it Nomad, for example. And then I can add a new frame, and I can select some eyes. And then I can, in real time, change. You see I'm changing the lights, the eyes here. I'm also changing them there as well. So you see that? And then I can create another different, couple different frames off here. And I can make them a different color, each one. And make another one. And I can change its color as well. And then I can specify the pause time of each one of these. And then I can specify it to repeat. And I can say save, and then when I play it back, there's our little Nomad eye script that we set up. Okay, so that's how his eyes are moving in the video. And then as far as the auto positioner, how he's actually moving. So this is the auto positioner control. And click on the configure for it. I can see what the robot looks like. So right now it's inside of a standing position. Okay, so I can start modifying it from here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him sit down. So I'm gonna show you each step of sit down. So I'm gonna just click on sit number one and watch the robot. That's sit number one. Here's sit number two. Here's sit number three. Sit number four. Number five. And that's where he sits. So if I wanted to modify from this position, I have sit number five already specified. So what I could do is I could specify sit number, I could call it sit wave one, for example. It will make him wave while he's sitting down. So there he's sitting down, and I can grab his servo, and I can bring the servo up, and I can maybe move his head a little bit to kind of give him a little bit more lifelike. Maybe move this arm out a little bit as well, just to get a little bit more lifelike motion. And bring that one out. Now I'll make another one called sit wave two. And we'll select it. And you watch here, I'm going to move his arm in. And I'll move this part in as well. And I'll move this one in a little bit. And I'll move his head a little bit that way. There. So now we have these two positions called sit wave one, sit wave two. So I go to actions, create a new action, and call it sit wave. Select sit wave. And then here in my list of all my different uh, different frames, I have sit wave one, sit wave two, sit wave one, sit wave two, and then when it's done, we'll go back into sit five, because that's where you're sitting down. And we want this to also maybe speak and have the robot say something. So I can have a script that will run when, the, when this action is executed. So if you look here, I'm going to type in say, easy B, hello world, and I'll save it, and I'll save it. So now, when I click on here, sit wave. You can see it there, but we're going to focus on the robot now because I'm going to push the execute button and now what he's going to do is wave. And you might have been able to hear him as well. So if I get him to stand up, and then I can have him sit down, and I can make him wave while he's sitting down. And of course he speaks as well. And his eyes are still moving, doing the animation. And as you saw, there's a few other ones I've made, like the handstand, the push-ups and stuff. And that's no different, just different animations. Just put it together and off he goes. So here's, here's his handstand. Right? Okay, hope that answers your question. See you on the forum.